Hello everyone. In this video, let's dig through an important tool in the field of open source intelligence, guys. This tool is Reckon NG, guys. This tool, um, it's like you can use this tool like as a meta similar to Metasploit, but instead of exploiting systems, you are just gathering information and doing open source intelligence. So you can find the tool from applications. Go to information gathering and select Recon NG. So from here, guys, you can see uh, five options. Uh, so you know how to work on this tool, guys, that guides you how to work on this tool. So most important, you have the Recon modules. Uh, we can explore many modules where we can use uh, and demonstrate many case scenarios of open source intelligence. Um, reporting modules and most importantly exploitation modules guys so um, you can select based on the number or you can um, to show all of the modules you can type in show modules and you will see guys every single detail of this tool every single module that you can use for open source intelligence now guys very important notes to put on your mind is that this tool or uh, some modules and this tool require you to have API key for example we have the LinkedIn we have the jigsaw we have ping we have many modules here guys that require you to have API key registered with an account on the correspondence service how to know what what are the services that require API key guys uh, we just type show keys and from here guys you can see that every module or every service in every module and its correspondent api key in my case i haven't registered any account uh, with an api key for these services for example you can get an api key for ping facebook linkedin github and then go ahead in this tool and add the api key how to do that you can just type help keys and from here, guys, as you can see, the usage is keys, list, and delete. For example, keys, add, and here, up. And from here, you add, you know, the API key that you have got from the uh, application or the website, like LinkedIn, for example. And as soon as you put the API key, guys, you get a more efficient use of the tool. All right, so now let's explore the modules, guys, and I'm gonna guide you through a simple usage of this tool so you don't need to browse uh, tutorials on YouTube or on the internet for every module you wanna learn how you, you wanna learn about. So I'm gonna show you basic um, uh, queries you can type in this tool to that avoids you uh, the time waste through, I mean, searching across the internet for usage of the modules. So, so first you see show modules. Okay, guys. So here, as you can see, we have module for discovery, exploitation, and reckon. Now, the use of this tool, guys, thrives in the reckon modules. Okay. So for every bit of information you want to gather about companies, domain names, accounts, hosts, IPs, everything that is connected to the internet. You can find information about using this tool, guys. So most importantly, the Reckon modules over here. So how to learn how every module works? Very simple, guys. As you uh, get used to use Metasploit, like Metasploit, guys, we, we do what? We just type use, and here we put the payload. It's the same case in Reckon. For example, use, and we put the name of the model and hit enter. Now we are, uh, the tool is configured to use the model that we have selected. Now, guys, how to know what how the model works? Simply, guys, you just type show info, and we get an explanation. Thanks to the author of this tool, they put an explanation for every model. So over here, guys, you can see the explanation of the module or, and how it works. For example, ping, LinkedIn, cache. The description, as you can see, after you read the description, you find out that this module 
It's all about finding and harvesting LinkedIn profiles connected to a simple uh, provided an input uh, like a company name. So all you have to do, guys, so the options here, all you have to do is read through the options, find how the model works, what it requires under the input, and you go through it. So for example, here it says the limit, and limit total number of pages per API request. Okay, for example, you want to, you want to um, like browse through five, six pages as a result, you type the number. And here the source, you put the source. Okay, guys, the source is the company name. Now, let's see another one. Show modules. And let me pick up something that doesn't require me an API key and have an example, demonstrated example on this tool. So, um, mail tester, mangle, contacts, credentials, Margaret contacts. Let's see something that, you know, uh, ping, no, 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 no API keys, no API keys. I don't have. Google site web domain hosts, SSL scan, threat crowd, domains vulnerabilities. Very interesting. Let's see how this works, guys. Domains vulnerabilities. Maybe I can provide the tool a domain and the tool maybe scrapes the web uh, and public uh, tools to find information about the vulnerabilities that exists on a specific domain. So let's put use and show info. Oh my God. Okay. So description searches for possible vulnerabilities in a domain by leveraging the Google hacking database and the site search operator updates the vulnerabilities table with the results. So options over here, as you can see, this is a very good tool, guys. Of course, you cannot depend on this tool to scan for a website or domain's vulnerabilities, guys. We have special tools for this. But you might find it useful in your journey of open source intelligence or in your journey of harvesting domain information. For example, you want to report every single detail related to a specific domain or website. You may use every single module in this tool and make a report. So the options over here, guys, you see docs. And Google Hacking Database, and they are required. So the current value is false. The source options are, uh, as you can see here, the source is a domain name. So all I have to do is let's read the comments. Okay, special thanks to Open Security. Okay. So we have to provide a domain name as an input, and here we have to set the corresponding options that we want to test with. For example, um, let's test a specific domain. Set source oh, something that doesn't involve us in a <laughs> violation of law. Uh, I don't know, guys. So, you know, let's say google.com. And let's test for specific Google Dark. So as you can see, advisories and vulnerabilities enables every line six dorks in this category. Let's select something that's, that will not, I mean, uh, drown us in, you know, sensitive online shopping info, vulnerable files, this seems interesting. So let's take that. Let's search for vulnerable files, set, Dork name, and we see the current value is false. All you have to do is put true. Show info now to see what we have configured. The source is google.com, and the test we're going to run is finding vulnerable files. So run, searching Google for site google.com, index of modified, you know. So now it is looking for vulnerable files that might exist in this domain. And the vulnerable files exist in the domain, we may look through these files and find what information we can um, take advantage of, you know, guys. So, you know, let's see here what we have. So searching for, so now it's looking for this, this guy over here, example, publish date. So we're getting some results, I would say. Post, 
So nothing is found. Of course, we are testing against, you know, Google. <laughs> I'm not expecting to get any positive result over here. Google encountered an unknown error. Whoa, 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 okay. So that's the basic use, guys, of this tool. Let's go back to modules. You know, with the same uh, queries, you, you use the same queries, show info, show options, set source, set the options the same way with every module, guys. All you have to do is to browse through the modules, okay, and find what every how every module works by, you know, typing show info. So here, you know, show them locations, push pins. And we have we have um, IP info DB. Okay, let's take this. I don't think it requires API key. So use R. I missed the R because show info. And here, so what it says leverages the IP info DB API. Okay, to geolocate a host by IP address, updates the host table with the wow wow wow. No no no. Okay. So set source, um, do you look at what? Do you look at Google? Run, API key, I don't have, of course. So guys, um, just get your API keys. Although, you know, to get the full functionality, you need an API, you need an API key. So this is a scan over here, let's see this. Oh, Nickcraft. I like Minecraft. Let's explore Minecraft module and this tool. So use, paste, show info. So this tool leverages Minecraft.com, harvest host from Minecraft.com. Okay, the source should be, you know. Okay, so I don't, I don't think Minecraft requires API key. Um, let's see, set, source. I uh, wanna harvest information about, let's say, um, Facebook, run, so here as you can see we are getting the hosts on the domain facebook.com, this is very useful if you are looking to um, dissect a domain name and find every possible subdomain host IP that is exist that ex that's existed on on a specific domain, guys. So I'm gonna stop this. You get the idea. So take your time, guys. Explore the modules if you can. Reduce your API keys to get the full functionality and efficiency of this tool. And you can consider this tool as your you know reference for conducting open source intelligence. Of course, of course, after you know. I'm going to tell you after what. So if you go to Google over here and change to English and type, you see here we have the king of this framework, you know, open source intelligence framework. So you can go, guys, to this website over here and decide what kind of uh, Intel you want to gather according to your criteria. For example, I want to take, I want to harvest information about business records, uh, search engine, digital currency. You decide your interest, guys, and then you use this framework for that. It's going to guide you how to harvest this information. Of course, this is not enough, guys. You need to have your own arsenal of tools like. We explained in the previous videos, we used Automator, we used, um, now we're using Reckon, we used Meltigo. Um, you have to use multiple tools, guys, but for a specific guidance, you can use this framework over here. Let's say, for example, an email address. Upon click on that, you can see, want to conduct an email search, click on that, and here it lists you the tools that you might select. You see the harvester, we used this tool uh, before in a specific video, guys. So open source intelligence is a very interesting field, guys. It requires, sorry, it um, gives you the opportunity to explore multiple uh, interesting 
um, you know, information, find details, and conduct your own due diligence if you are conducting, you know, some kind of penetration testing for your own company. So that's it, guys. I hope this video is somewhat helpful and informative. And, you know, see you in the next video.